Google and Audi to introduce an Android-equipped vehicle for CES 2014. Asus teases diverse device solutions for CES as well, and believe it or not, there apparently is a jailbreak for Windows Phone 8 in the works. I'm Jaime Rivera, and just as you, I am going to take a couple of days off with this whole New Year's thing, because I'm probably going to be wasted. This is Pocket Now Daily. Well, if you came here for official news, the problem is that for the holidays, that's kind of a tough one. And well, all we've got is teasers for CES. Let's start it off with Samsung. The company is apparently planning to bring us another 64-bit chip. And the reason why I say another is because the Exynos 6 is already in the works. That's this typical 64-bit ARM-based chip. But apparently the company is working on the Exynos S, which is a custom-made 64-bit chip that is apparently going to bring some unique features that we still don't know about. Obviously, they have to announce them first. So stay tuned. We'll keep you posted at CES. And speaking of 64-bit chips, these are kind of pointless right now in the iPhone 5S and iPad era if you don't really have extra RAM to take advantage of that extra computing power. And as it turns out, it seems that Samsung is also working on bringing us different RAM chips to take advantage of this. We're talking about 8 gigabyte chips that are in the works. Uh, apparently, these are also going to be the news at CES. We still don't know if we're actually getting a phone that's powered by these immediately, but stay tuned. 8 gigabytes of RAM. That'll be the day. And speaking of CES, Asus has already begun teasing their event and, well, their ad is called What Number Are You? And what we have in this ad is a lot of balls rolling around with the number 4, 5, and 6. So apparently the reason why this is is because they're teasing that we're going to have a 4-inch, a 5-inch, and a 6-inch phone. And we're just waiting for the company to also power these phones in the same way so that you don't feel that you're buying a mid-tiered phone with the 4-inch phone. So stay tuned, CES will tell us everything. We'll definitely be covering the event live. And I've been repeating the word Ponso over and over again just to not forget it because the next news are from Windows Phone as we've got this Chinese dev team called Ponsol, and the idea is that they have already jailbroken a Lumia 920, and we can see this because there is a video showing us the device running a third row of tiles, which we know that is currently available for only 1080p devices. So stay tuned as apparently they are building an app store just like Cydia, we just don't know when they're planning on doing so. And hopefully we will be getting apps there at least. And finally for the hot news of the day, probably one of the biggest teasers for CES 2014 is Google and Audi collaborating on building an Android equipped car. And no, this is not a self-driving car yet, though they are actually working on that. They're building one that brings us entertainment and information. So apparently, obviously, the Android-based operating system will just interact with you in some sort of entertainment system. We just don't know exactly what we'll get, but that leads me to the question of the day. What would you like this Android-equipped vehicle to do for you? Because in my particular case, if they could figure out how to build Google Now into that, connect it to the internet permanently, and make my phone even smarter, then I would really like that, especially if they give that to me for free. But leave us a comment down below. What would you want? And friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you on Thursday 2nd, because I will be off.